In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a query that gives you the detail and a total line inside the query all at one time. So, for example, I've got a table here that gives me rep, the month, FY01, and FY02 revenues. And I've got it listed out where every rep is listed 12 times, once for every month. And basically, what I want to do is between each rep, I'd like to put a total line. For example, uh, Alexander would have month 1 through 12, the revenue for 1 through 12, and then a total revenue for the whole year. And then for the same thing for Armstrong, the same thing for Barton, and so on and on. So I would have one query that gives me detail and a total line. And it's really easy to do, and we're going to do it with a union query. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a query from my table that gives me rep, month, FY01, and FY02, and it's nothing more than a select query. So when I run it, it gives me the same view as I would have gotten if I opened the table. And one thing different I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a uh, another column here called variance. And again, I just basically typed in variance and colon, which basically bookmarked the space for me or created a column and then uh, I put this calculation in here FY02 divided by FY01 minus 1 and that'll give me the variance and if I run this it again you'll see it's just nothing more than the variance here alright so this is one piece of it this is step one of this process so I'm gonna save this as Q1 alright so now first thing I'll do here is start a new query uh, in design view and I'm gonna select my table performance by rep is what my table is called and literally I'm just gonna kinda bring everything down and that's it for the first query the only other thing that I would like to do probably is uh, create a column called variance and have the variance be FY02 uh, divided by FY01 minus 1 and that gives me uh, a variance. So if I run this, you'll see that I've got FY01, FY02, and then the variance between the two. And I can format this just to show you a little bit better what this variance is going to be. Percentage, zero, and then there you go. So this is my first query. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and save it. And I'm going to save it as Q1. All right, so now I've got a, a query called Q1. What I can do now is literally copy Q1, paste it, and I'm going to paste it as Q2. So I've basically created a second query called Q2. Now I can design Q2. I've already done the work in Q1, so why build it again? I just basically copied it. And then I'm going to hit totals. And so this is going to be a totals um, query. First thing I need to do though is I need to take this month out because if I even if I turn these to sum, okay, what's going to do? It's going to give me all the months again. So what I need to do is I need to take the month out, and I need to show just the rep and then the sums. But I do want to hold the space for month because when you do a union query, both queries that you're putting putting together are going to have to have the same exact fields. So if query 1 or Q1 has a month field, I need to have a month field in Q2. But the problem is, if I have this month field, it doesn't sum right. It doesn't give me a total. It just gives me every, every line, just like Q1 did. So what I can do here is I can actually just change this to month and then literally just type in total. and then make this an expression. All right, now when I run it, I've got one line for every rep. And the month is called total. All right. So if I save this, I've now I've got Q1 and Q2. Just to recap, Q1 is basically all the reps, all the months listed out with all the detail. Q2 is a summary of the rep all the months together and it's basically a sum of all the months together 
So just to recap, I've got two queries. One query, Q1, is going to give me the detail. If I open up Q1, again, I've got all the reps and all the months and detailed out. So this is all the detail that I'm going to need in my particular query. Uh, Q2 is going to give me the summary. If I open up Q2, it's, you're going to see that it's nothing more than each rep is summed all together to give me a year total. And I've changed this particular month field uh, to be total. Okay? And so that leads us to the third step. The third step is to create a new query. Go to Design View and press OK. In Show Table, I'm not going to add any table, so I'm going to click Close. Now follow me. I've got View, SQL View. So I've got, I'm in the SQL view. I'm going to clear out what's in there, and I'm starting with a clean slate. So I'm not going to build this in the query grid. The reason is I have to build a union query, and you can't build union queries in the QBE. Okay? So now that I've got this particular clean slate, what I need to do is I need to bring in Q1 first. So I'll click on Q1 to highlight it, design, go to view, SQL view. This is the SQL statement for Q1. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, right click and copy it. Go back to my clean slate query, right click and hit paste. So this is Q1 in here. Put a couple of spaces here. Close out Q1. Now I'm going to go to Q2. Click on Q2 to highlight it. Go to design, view, SQL view. Highlight the SQL statement that makes up Q2 right click and hit copy go back to my clean slate query here right click and hit paste so now I've got the SQL statement for Q1 and Q2 in one query now in the middle I'm gonna type in union all and that is basically gonna bring those two queries together close this out I'm gonna save this as Q3 and that is pretty much it so now when I open up Q3 I'll have the two things together. I have the detail up here, and if I scroll down here, I'll have totals. Okay? And so now what I can do is highlight both those columns, hit sort ascending, and there you have it. I've got reps details, the total for the rep, Armstrong details, total for Armstrong, Barton details, and the total for Barton and so on and so forth. Really easy to do. Basically again, I've built two queries, the detail query and the summary query, and I brought them all together in a union query. And a union query is nothing more than bringing two SQL statements together and pasting them together with a union statement.